ولله الأسماء الحسنى فادعوه بها يا المهيمن Referring to the protector, one who is a guardian, Al-Muhaymin is the one who stands as a witness for his chosen ones and the one who provides security. This benevolent attribute of God is most visible through his protection of his loved ones. The entire life of the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, is a testament to the attribute of Al-Muhaymin. During the Battle of Uhud, there came a time where the enemy had surrounded the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. The Muslims, exhausted, had scattered about the field, leaving the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, alone and exposed. But it was Al-Muhaymin who stood in his defense. It was he who caused the Muslims to assemble and form a ring around the Prophet, peace be upon him. He gave them the strength to fight until they themselves were pierced by the swords of the enemy. He was the reason the Prophet of Islam, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, had been facing certain death, but through the protection granted by al muhaymin our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, was able to survive. This is just one of many incidents where the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him's life was safeguarded through divine protection. One of the most devoted followers of the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, was the promised Messiah on whom be peace. Hazrat Mirza Bashir Ahmad, may God be pleased with him, wrote that God himself was the guardian of the promised Messiah. He was the reason why Talha, may God be pleased with him, could absorb arrow after arrow. The Prophet of Islam, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, had been facing certain death, but through the protection granted by al muhaymin our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, was able to survive. This is just one of the many incidents where the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him's life, was safeguarded through divine protection. The promised Messiah on whom be peace was skilled in swimming and horseback riding. On one occasion, he was swimming and nearly drowned. He was saved by an older man whom he had never seen prior to this incident and never saw again. On another instance, he was riding a horse that became uncontrollable, so much so that it crashed into a tree. This proved to be fatal for the horse, but the promised Messiah on whom be peace was miraculously saved without any injury. These are not mere coincidences, nor good luck. This is the work of al muhaymin How else would the promised Messiah on whom be peace be saved by a man who vanished into thin air? Or be saved in an accident that killed a mighty animal? The same protection that was afforded to the Holy Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, and the promised Messiah on whom be peace, is granted to all believers. al muhaymin is the one who protects against the severe and subtle attacks of Satan. He guards against accidental and intentional injury. He stands witness for the truthful and provide security to those without a voice. 
It is the way of God to protect His believers, to become benefactors of the protection of al muhaymin It is incumbent to accept the Imam of the time, 